Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and tonight I have a couple of things that I want to go over with you. I've decided that I want to use a different planner for my budgeting. I want to go back to my paper planner. I have some things that I want to print out and laminate and add to it, which will be done. But I just wanted to get my main budgeting done for you guys um, so that I can head on out to the bank and get my cash for stuffing my envelopes. So, as you can see, this is a budgeting video, and if you like these types of videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I love gaining new friends. All right, let's get into the plan with me. So, I have, I have this... Oops. So, I have this planner... Um, sticker book that I got from Ollie's. As you see, it was $1.99 there. And I have my three binders right here. What I would like to do tonight is set up this planner with stickers from here and also some decorative stickers. But I also want to go through my three binders and get rid of the cash envelopes except for the date, the weather, and maybe one or two more. But the majority of them are going to my bank to go into my savings um, because I have a big surprise coming up soon. And... <laughs> cost money so yeah let's get into the video well hello Duke do you want to be in the video too do you want to be in the video too ah, there you go there's your head all right thank you all right thank you all right so like I said I want to go back to a paper planner so I wanted to show you how I am making the items to put into my planner and these are just some bill pay checklist my 26 weeks my piggy got cut off i'm not happy about that yeah i'm gonna try and live with it i probably can't okay and then i have a hundred envelope challenge and then i have my weekly um cash stuffing my wallet the weather for the month, um, save the date, 26 weeks, 100 envelopes, scratch and save, roll the dice. Basically what I'm doing on this sheet is I'm going to fill out, oh, I need two 20s and a 5. I need 150, you know, and then total it up and write down there, you know, how much cash I'm taking out each week. These items I'm going to laminate. This I'm going to have to reprint because I know that's going to bother me. So, I will show you how I laminate with, first, the bill, bill pay checklist. And if you have been with me for a while, you remember that I had one that was laminated, had it in my planner, and I wrote all my bills on it, and checked off when they were paid, and I, I have no idea where that is. Did I throw it away? Did I say, oh, I could print another one? And we, yeah, uh, uh, we don't know. We don't know. So, in order to make your own sheet to fit into your planner, you're going to do it, um, you're going to put your settings on 7 inches wide by nine inches long on a regular letter size paper. I just go into custom, make it seven by nine, 
and then name it planner and save that setting. Um, so it's when I cut my eight and a half by eleven paper, I cut it to seven and a quarter by nine inches in length. And that way, when I laminate it and I punch my holes in it, it will be big enough. Basically, it's the same size as one of these sheets, right? Um, but I wanted to cut a little bit less off of the sides because that lamination is going to give me just a little bit of an edge all the way around and I wanted to make sure I have plenty of room. So I'll show you how I do this. This is a scotch laminator, 20 bucks at Walmart. Works fine. I'm going to put it on 3 millimeter. Hopefully you can see that real small. Um, the back comes out, out to hold the paper. But one of my sides broke and so it doesn't stay up. <laughs> so usually what I do is I just prop a bunch of things under it. And make it stay. Like that. Let me see where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right up. Oh, wait. Supposed to be right there. Right about there. All right. So then I'm going to get a lamination sheet. These are my, um, my clears or my frosted. Hold on. I think my frosted. Different. So you can tell the difference. This is clear and this is my frosted. I don't want to use my frosted on this project. So, lucky me, I was smart enough to separate them. So then what I do is I just take the sheet And let me see how big, how far away the holes are. So that looks about right. Looks like I can cut a little bit more off this side. So I'm going to do that. Um, where is my cutter?
We'll take about another half an inch off. Yeah, that'll work because I will punch my holes into this part and then I will cut along here around these edges where it seals. I'll show you. All right, my green ready light is not on yet. Okay, blue, whatever. So then I'm just going to So I have that one done. Let me cut this one down too. All right, so just to let you know, I have taken off that quarter of an inch. So seven inches by nine inches, seven inches by nine inches. Then you laminate. All right, so before I laminate this one, I want to fill in the numbers. So I'm just going to take a regular black pen and just say one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-six, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay? Got a little wonky at the end there, but you, you, know, you got it. So, um, then uh, week one of 2025, first week's paycheck, I'll pick an amount, say it's, you know, $12. I'll write 12 here, and then I'll come in and I'll color in the number 12 piggy. Just like I was doing, in, you know, when I was first starting my budgeting and just like I did in my digital budgeting. It's just on paper now. Um, why did I switch back to paper? I don't know. I'm an old soul, and I guess we just love paper. <laughs> I tried to do the digital thing, and it just doesn't, it doesn't thrill me at all. So... I just found myself not getting into my budgeting page enough. Just a little bit more over. Is it me or does it look crooked? We don't know. let that be it. Okay, I'm going to laminate this twice. Now, I'm going to allow this to cool down, and then I will put it back onto my shelf. For now, I'm going to put it over on another hard surface where it will not burn anything. All right, so now I have all of my pages laminated. I'm going to cut them right along this very fine edge where you can see the laminating see that that ripple right there right along there and do that along this side and this side I'm gonna leave this side as it is and I'm going to punch my holes in it which my punch <laughs> does not like at all but yeah it has to happen so I just have to get really close to it to be able to see where that seal is.
Okay. So I just have that one little itty bitty there. Okay, and that's what it looks like at the end. Then I take my Happy Planner Punch. It cuts a mushroom type. It has this size. They say to line the top of your paper up there. I actually look at where these are. And because of my OCD, <laughs> I have to... Line it up evenly on both sides, which means it isn't always going to be on either line. All right, so I was able to use my crocodile. I don't know if I got any of that on camera because I just looked up and I wasn't recording. I need to go to bed. Um, and I started filling this out. But I was doing check marks and I realized I don't want to do check marks. <laughs> I want to do something more fun. So, um, because it's permanent marker, it doesn't come off unless you take fingernail polish or alcohol and rub it off. Alright, so that's it for this video. I have at least gotten it put together. I have not punched the holes in this. This isn't a rush. We're not going to do that till the beginning of next year, probably. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but it starts off where each month I will come through and check off all of my bills, color in that I've paid off my debts, stuff some 26 weeks, Stuff my wallet, the weather, save the date, 26 weeks, 100 envelope, scratch and save, more to come on that, and roll the dice. And in this planner, it is a double dashboard. It's called, uh, I don't remember what it's called. But I got this from Walmart. Walmart is the only one that sells a layout that has the dashboard layout on both sides. So I can get a, a glance at two weeks at a time, which is nice because I can put all of my bills leading up to this check. And then after this check, I can write the bills that will be, you know, paid. And then get paid here, all the bills that will be, you know what I'm saying. Alright guys, I'm exhausted, so I am going to go for now, but um, I appreciate you for joining me on this long, crafty evening. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please hit subscribe. I love gaining new friends, and until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye guys.